Hello everyone, Spicy Gecko here. Today I'm showing off my battles in the New Mexico Fight Club Dungeon Cup tournament. It's a very fun meta, which I am very fond for. So talking about this battle right now, they swapped in Flygon, so I threw Lunge as Galvantula so that I could swap in Bronzong because after a lunge, Bronzong can comfortably take an Earth Power from Flygon. And now they're bringing Jellicent back in. Well, Jellicent in for the first time, so I get to throw a Payback, which does a lot of damage. Uh, so it's a tough situation here. They have a Pharaoh Thorn, which I do not want to see as Gastrodon, so I get to swap back Gal back in. And now I'm in a pretty good position because... They have a Jellicent with very low health and energy in the back, so I can easily lunge twice on Pharaoh Thorn here and cause their attacks to do almost no damage. Very nice, very nice. Love to see it. I'm going to shrug off the Splash Cannon, get to a second lunge, and then just finish off Jellicent for game one against Necrotic Fate. Very interesting team, by the way. Uh, Mawile is definitely... Bad news for my team. Uh, threatens a lot of Pokemon on it. Um, and not a whole lot else to say, I suppose. I just want to avoid that. So, generally, make sure that I don't immediately die to Mawile. I have to have my two closest things to Mawile counter in the back and lead Ferrothorn because Ferrothorn lead, I figure, is my best lead against this team. Um, it's baiting a body slam here against Drap. In a very good position here. I can easily take a Crunch or Aqua Tail and just farm down. <laughs> or not. Yeah, it's going to farm down because I realized that I shielded a bait. That's okay. I'm just going to throw Earth Power against Ferrothorn here and it's going to do a lot of damage. Very strong move. Uh, they can farm down all I want. I really don't care because I can just bring my own Bronzong. They bring in Flygon. I bring my own Ferrothorn for a pretty good lineup um, and yeah you might notice I'm running mirror shot um, I still firmly believe right now that's the best second move on Barrow Thorn or at least in this meta just because very spammy you can bait with it uh, I've gotten a couple wins with that um, probably shouldn't have gone for it. I mean it would have done more than power whip anyway and I figure at this point it's okay to reveal I have Mirror Shot because I've won this game and I've won the last game. If I can win this game, that doesn't really matter what happens in game three, you know? That's basically a freebie. So I just gotta win this one and secure that. Game three. Uh, I kinda make a mistake here by leading Gastrid on because it turns out they have a Mawile in the back. I don't wanna see that. Um, Definitely a big misplay on my part, letting Gastro die here. <laughs> um, yeah, let's go straight Earth Power. Why not? Um, I, I was assuming they were going to try to bait a Bulb Beam here, which is what Jellies usually do, and this one does. So it works out alright. Bring him Barrow Thorn. Don't want to see that. And yep, Mawwow. There's where the shit hits the fan. Two things, weak to Fire Fang, he outplayed me big time. Um, yeah, no hard feelings, of course. Uh, outskilled. I should have should have thought of that. He clearly noticed Small while destroys a lot of my team. So, yeah, GG's. Um, very very fun in, t in intense games. Um, yeah, obviously he wants to shield that. I. Don't even bother shielding because I know I'm gonna die. So yeah, GG's, my man. Good games. So yeah, game two, uh, well, round two, whatever you want to call it, against the Mega Shuckle. Um, I'm gonna say that that Ponyard is no joke. Uh, he used it to also kick my ass in a Halloween practice that we were both part of last week. Also, showing off that. Fly gone the Meloetta hat. I can't blame him. That is a pretty cool costume. I'm in a pretty rough situation, to be totally honest. Um, I 
Obviously, I don't want to go up against their Pawnee or of Gyarados because I'm going to lose. Um, but I'm hoping if I have an Aqua Tail, I can hurt it a lot. But yeah, they have Manti in the back, which completely destroys my backline more or less. Um, if I can get to a crunch, it would be really nice. But unfortunately, they outspeed me and get to an Ice Beam. Uh, quite a shame. Hopefully, I can get to a Ponyard. I'll get to the Ponyard and then just whittle it down, I guess. Um, but they know. That's my plan. Uh, and they're going to shield this Body Slam. And yeah. <laughs> Hate to see it. I don't make it to Earth Power, which is what I would have needed to win. Um, Night Slash KOs, yeah, good game. Yeah, round two, uh, I try to hit the Pawnier to lead with Gastrodon, but unfortunately for me, they were two steps ahead of me and brought in Heracross. Uh, yeah, they catch the Discharge on Flygon. Good play, very good play. Um, <laughs> yeah, looking pretty bad. So I'm just gonna bring. Oh, they uh, under tap, yeah, and I'm just gonna have to bring in Gyarados and try to threaten whatever they switch in after that. Uh, I'm really. Ho I was really hoping it's not Mantine again. Uh, and it's Hair Cross to bring that back in. Uh, they obviously don't want to take an Aqua Tail, so they're gonna shield that right up. I figure they probably have the brand new Rock Blast, which is exactly what I don't want to see. They bring in Quagsire, hoping to get to an Earth Power, which works out pretty well. Um, fortunately for me, they have built up to an Earthquake, and now they're going to farm me down. I don't know if those undertapped or not, but if it was, that was a very good play. Alright. Final game. Uh, I might be able to make this lead work. Uh, stuff when I, in the back obviously doesn't want to see Quagsire, so I managed to catch an Earthquake on Gyarados, which works out great. Um, they bring in Ponyer though, which is bad news. Uh, I figure I can probably live a Night Slash, which is true, but I want to push it. They're going to be able to farm me down now, which isn't. I probably should have shielded in retrospect. I'm just gonna farm down with the Gastro, which means they can bring in another Pokemon, which is strong against Gastrodon. This wireless isn't exactly, I don't know if it's a Gastro counter or not. You know, I think that one's kind of up in the air. Um, uh, I obviously want to shield this, hoping to get to a lunge and then weaken their body slam. Uh, but no, they have, have bring Quagsire, so I guess I'm gonna just lunge down here. Um, go for another one, and they shield that up, so I go through and farm down with Gastro as a plan. Unfortunately for me, I am unable to, you know, I don't think Earth Eye would have killed her. Anyway, my plan is to get to two body slams, because I couldn't have made it. Earth Fire would not have killed, I'm just saying it right now. Anyway. Very good games, very good games, very well played, definitely outskilled me. Um, and yeah, unfortunately I did not get a better screenshot of my opponent, uh, Kyoto Gas, I believe. Uh, <laughs> anyway, pretty decent lead here against a Dragalge. Rose Raid, of course, is something my team does not really want to see, so... What I have here is I have two things that beat Roserade because almost everything else loses to it. This is a pretty even matchup. Uh, just because we're both dealing resisted damage to each other, but Escavalier's very high attacks, that is bad news for Gyarados. But I know that they have Acid Spray and Drill Run, so in the future that means I can just bring in Gyarados and not have to shield anything at all. Uh, I should not have shielded there, I was afraid of Megahorn, but I did not need to be. Anyway, just bring in Sheldon, Sheldon, Sheldon. A anyway, just bring in the funny looking dragon and uh, Twister. 
Uh, yeah. I do like Shogun, by the way. Um, honestly, it was a toss-up between Shogun or Gabite. Um, maybe if I do another dungeon tournament in the near future, I will build a Gabite, because Gabite looks pretty fun. He can spam flamethrowers and twisters much faster than Mudshot, and he has additional ground typing, but that means that it's harder for him to beat Roserade. And it he's just generally frailer and can't deal dragon fast damage. So, you know, it's not like one is better than the other when it comes to the dragons. I'm um, getting on a tangent here. I feel like I should be talking more about my opponent's plays. Um, and yeah, like I mentioned earlier, uh, usually how I play the Gastro matchup against Jellicent is just never shield anything. Um, brought in Shell Gone because... Jellicent is usually a pretty big threat to Shelgon, even without Ice Beam, Shadow Ball still hurts a lot. Um, and now I can just not shield anything from Escavalier because I know Gyarados has nothing to fear from it. Uh, they can do whatever they want. I, they try to catch, and I figure they're going to try to catch because it's usually what it's, you know. It's usually what you do when you have a low health Pokemon on the back. You figure, you know what? That's an extra shield. I'm going to use it. Um, and I luckily did not fall for that trap. So yeah, final game. Also another lead against Dragal J. I'm just gonna body slam. We might just repeat the same team over again. down. I can bring in Shogun. Finally a Scavalier again. Shit, did I lose the original video of this play? Is this a repeat? Fuck, I think this is a repeat. Hang on. Uh, yeah. Wow. Alright, well, I guess I'm gonna use this opportunity to say, uh, good games. Um, I don't know where the last video is, but... I'm um, pretty sure we'd not use the exact same teams in shielding situations, so yeah, sorry about that. Uh, I think my phone just shat itself trying to record everything, so that's definitely a major disappointment. Um, but yeah, luckily I did manage to get the last battles in my tournament. <laughs> All right, final battles this tournament up against Scam Locust for the second and third place posi positions. Uh, now my team is very, very weak to his Escavalier, but I find out later that he, um, he he didn't have it. So I was I was basically building my entire teams every single game around the worry that he was going to bring out a Escavalier and kick my ass. So, I let a Pharaoh Thorn just because Pharaoh Thorn seemed like a pretty reasonable swap in against almost everything else. Um, and yeah, in this game, I brought in Galvantula and Gastrodon because they can do okay against Escavalier. Um, <laughs> yeah, I uh, don't know what else to add to that. Uh, I guess my Pharaoh Thorn actually does not have very good a match against Pelipper, it's bait dependent. And. They also, I think I also gave away the fact that I mirror shot way too early, just in case they did bring in Pelipper, because then they would know they wouldn't have to fear a thunder, and they can live a power whip. Here I just bait with body slam. Uh, it works, I guess. Yeah, it does work. And after that, I just go straight body slam, because I know that a body slam is going to put them in farm down range, and they know it too, so yeah, and wisely decides to shield that up, goes for Earthquake, which actually doesn't kill as expecting it to kill. Let's bring in Ferrothorn to finish it off. And yeah, good game. Uh, round two. Uh, yeah, again, I was expecting a Cavalier, so I swapped out Gastrodon for Gyarados because it seemed like he was going to do better against whatever other stuff he brought out. Sorry, I didn't make a lot of sense. But I decided to go for straight power whip and then bait with mirror shot because 
I had a feeling he just wasn't going to base. Um, just because usually the pro player is a bit more conservative with their shields. Uh, so I think he figured I was going to surely know. Uh, 40 chess. It's basically PvP. 40 chess, a little bit of coin flipping, a little bit of rock, paper, scissoring. You know, you got to master uh, stuff like that. Don't know what else to say here, really. Just uh, farming down a pharaoh thorn. Um, <laughs> I can't be too picky, of course. They're only about one or two bolt seeds away from throwing a power whip or thunder. They bring in Pelipper. I don't really care. I'm not going to bother shooting that up. Um, and back. Oh, Quagsire. It's really nice. But, of course, I'm worried that they're going to hit me with an Earthquake, which will definitely kill. So I need to bait with Mirror Shot here. And hopefully catch with Gyarados. If I don't catch, that's okay, because it takes uh, two charge moves to kill Gyarados. Um, yeah, I can definitely see that. Those um, Mud Shots are barely doing any damage, so he's going to have to throw Stone Edge, which lets me bring in Pharaoh Thorn and knock out with Power Whip. So yeah, very good game. Good games. Final game of the tournament, I decide to, I haven't used Shellgon enough, so I bring him in, and hey, if he did bring a Scavalier final game, that would be even better, because then I could just torch a flamethrower. Um, and one thing that I have learned about the Magnezone matchup is to never shield the first attack, so he brings in Quagsire. Oh, and by the way, I guess Maze will bring us up. Uh, you don't shield the first attack because it might not be bait or whatever. You don't shield the first attack just because then you can farm down with an extra shield. Because if it's wild charge and the Magnezone's defenses are so low that Shellgon can still farm anyway. But it doesn't really matter. They have Stone Edge and knock out Pharaoh Thorn, which is alright. I'm going to farm down Gyarados, bring in Shellgon. Are you ready for it? There it is, Flamethrower. Yep, uh, great reason to run Shelga on this cup. Fire coverage always appreciated. And yeah, just farm down the Quagsire. And well, those have been some really fun, exciting games, I gotta say. I love this format. Thank you again at New Mexico Battles for hosting me, and have a great night.